welcome back and if you're new here thanks for joining today i am bringing you our birch legacy story and this is episode seven so we are picking up right where we left off and as you can see it's just gonna go ahead and go on over here and take care of bran because she is crying as usual and so we'll get him to just give her a little bit of love and um raven is downstairs just kind of reading up on you know light reading you know a little magic here a little magic there you know <laughs> so she's just downstairs kind of looking over a spell book and kind of familiarizing herself because as we know all of this is really new to her she has no clue what's going on and she's like i'm just gonna jump head first right in i don't think she really knows what she's doing but you know this is the raven that we all love and that's just the way it goes so that's what is going on currently in the family and so let's go ahead and um see it looks like also he um akira just needs to get himself something to eat so he may go downstairs and i'll just have him grab a bite to eat he's like i love you so much i love like how he is with bran like they're so cute together so yeah as you can see she's just delving right in with the spell book and when she's done with that, I'm just going to have her come out and deal with some of our chickens. This coop is a nightmare. I don't know what it is about me in these coops, but in every single series that I have going on that has chickens, the coop is green. So I am currently thinking it's less of a Sims thing and more of a Misty thing. I mean, I could be wrong, but um, what is it that they say? The proof is in the pudding? All right. And I am going to go ahead and just check here. It looks like our bugs are doing great. So at least, you know, I'm doing something right. And <laughs> whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and have them sit down here together and they're going to talk. I did get them to do that um, selfie. So I think I need to change that photo out. Yeah, I do. So I am just going to change that photo out to the selfie that they took Um recently because it's got their updated look and of course we want to have that because the first picture that they took was when she lived in the city and he hadn't had his makeover yet so i just want to get an accurate depiction of them in their family photo here at the house so i'm just going to pop that one back into her inventory and then we'll put a new one up and that will be great so she is feeling extremely flirty i mean like between the two of them they are some randy folks like i don't know what the deal is i mean they're precious and their relationship is like totally on point but like they are constantly like super flirty ready to go at any given moment like they just they are definitely down for one another so in the beginning i like before, when they were getting married and i found out that he had kind of had something going on with the calientes i was like oh crap this is going to be bad this is going to be some drama and you know what down the road that very well may be the case considering they also have a bit of a romantic relationship he has two babies with her but i can tell you from watching him with raven those two have something extremely special i don't think the um, the Caliente girl is going to be able to get in between them whatsoever. And as we know, if she tried, well, you know, Raven's brushing up on her magic. So bring it, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to have her go ahead, go out here and deal with these chickens, deal with this green coop, because I mean, that's not a good color for that at all. I really don't know why I struggle with this so much. Like, it really shouldn't be this difficult. You just get their shit and get it out. But no, clearly that's not the way it's going to go. So. And Akira just looks lost. Do you work? You do. Why don't you go down and... Okay, he's going to go out and talk with Raven. That's fine. It's so like, I'm just going to go out here and I'm going to talk with her. Because, you know, I love her so much. I just can't be away from her. I do think he has that jealous trait. So sometimes whenever they aren't together, I think that does bother him. But I could be wrong about that. I can't actually remember. So he's like, so, um, how's it going? She's like, hold on, love. I just need to deal with the eggs. I have clearly been neglecting this coop while I've been out trying to figure out my life story. And he's like honey that's completely understandable it's okay and she's like well Kira, you know anytime you want to help out with the garden or the chickens like please by all means lift a finger <clears throat> so <laughs> he's like yes dear 
All right, so she's just gonna go ahead and take the eggs and put them up into the fridge and then go ahead and deal with her bladder. He is still just like, um, honey, I was actually not done talking with you. So I think he's probably just gonna follow along behind. And I also just want to go ahead and give Raven a little bit of an updated look. It's been, we are on currently on episode seven, so I do want to just change her um, up just a little bit. I'm going to change her outfits just a tiny bit and maybe give her a new hairstyle. I think she's precious, but I just think it's time for a change. Sometimes I just kind of need some change going on in um kind of what they're wearing and what they're doing. So I am going to go ahead and just hop into Cass really quick and give her a updated look because I think that is important just to keep things fun. And obviously it does, um, because he has to go to work, I am going to go ahead and get a cure just to work on a little bit more programming because I want him to go ahead and get that up to level two so that at some point soon he can go ahead and get a promotion because as we know, they don't necessarily need the money, but I mean, you never know what our future is going to bring us. Um, I do know that if they have any more kids, we are definitely going to have to get a different house because I can up look like upgrade the um, current nursery and make it into a taller room. That's not going to be an issue, but if they, um, end up going ahead and continuing on this path of doing whatever they want whenever they want in the bedroom, then I am worried we are going to end up with another kid. And this house is not big enough for a family, any bigger than the one child. So we're definitely going to need to make sure we have money to move forward in the future. Why'd you do that? That's not where your plate goes. I'm putting it right in your inventory. You can throw it away where it belongs. She's like, I'm busy. Okay. Can you not see? I'm practicing with my new wand. So as you can see, she is getting a lot more confident and just kind of going out and doing what she needs to do with her magic. She's like, I think I've got this. I know what I'm doing. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's not. It's not, Raven. You have no clue what you're doing. Really. None. She's like, watch this. Does someone that doesn't know what they're doing know how to do that? Ha. Huh. Really? If you show me something that's actually worthwhile, then I'll believe you. But at this current present moment, you have no idea what you're doing. None whatsoever. Okay, so we are actually just going to go ahead. I'm going to get her to go over to Michaela's. So we had in the last um, episode kind of decided that she definitely needed to talk to Michaela. Okay, so we are here at Michaela's and as you can see, it is snowing quite hard. So they're going to go ahead and get themselves inside because it's a blizzard. Gotta love winter, right? Like they're really having like a struggle um, getting to the door. But as soon as Michaela gets her butt in the house, I can knock on the door and we can go ahead and be granted entrance. So she's like, hello, is anyone? All right, thanks. I'm coming on in. So I am just going to go ahead and get Raven to kind of go over to Michaela and just be like, okay, um, I realize that I, it's short notice that I'm here and, um, not to sp like just spring things on you, but the first time that I saw you, I told you that I thought we were related and I still stand by that. I think we're related and I love that we've grown closer. I love that we're friends. Um, and I hope that you can trust me enough to go ahead and be honest with me and just tell me like, are we related? because there's a lot of things going on in my life that don't make sense and don't add up. And I wasn't like this before I met you. And I don't know if it has something to do with you coming into my life or what the deal is, but all I can tell you is ever since I met you, things have really been turned upside down. So I do think Michaela is just going to kind of come out and be like, we are related. You are right about that. And Raven's going to be like, well, why didn't you just tell me that? And she's like, well, you know, there's a lot of things, um, unfortunately, that you don't know. And part of that is what we are. And um, I was not supposed to tell you about that. You were supposed to just accept the house and live your life. And she's like, hold on a minute. What do you mean I'm just supposed to accept the house and live my life? If you spent your whole life thinking that you were orphaned and you didn't know who you came from or and found out that there were people relatives of yours that were alive that you had just inherited a house from wouldn't you want to question that and she's like you know 
I guess, but honey, we're not like other people. So, I mean, I can understand you don't know this. You don't realize, but we are special. Well, special how? What do you mean? Well, long, long ago, and she's like, what are you talking about long, long ago? Like, you're my age. And she's like, no, honey, actually, I'm not. I actually am centuries older than you. And she's like, well, you don't look it. And she's like, well, I realize that, but it's because I'm immortal. And she's like, well, what What do you mean you're immortal? She's like, well, I'm, I'm immortal. We live forever. Well, what are you? Okay, well, I am actually your great, 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 great aunt. And she's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I am. And she's like, oh my, how does that work? Like, I don't understand. And Michaela's going to be like, what you don't seem to understand is that I am not really the person that needs to be telling you this. Well, who can? Who else is around? Well, unfortunately, um, most of our people were killed and... I am actually your only living, surviving relative at this point. Um, and she's like, well, I thought you just said we, we were immortal. And she said, no, I said I am immortal. Well, well, how are you immortal? Well, because I grew in my strength and my power and I have given myself immortality. And I did that because I was basically given guardianship over looking after you and making sure that you were okay and that you wouldn't stumble upon anything that could put you into danger. But as we can see, um, you truly are a birch. And she's like, I don't even know what that means. I don't understand any of this. And she's like, no, I understand that, but you will. And she's like, how about we duel it out? She's like, how about that? How do you like that spell? And she's like, I understand that you're trying to make me feel despair. And honey, I don't need you to put a spell on me for me to feel despair about this. You were never supposed to find out about where you come from. You were never supposed to know any of this. You were supposed to be protective and I failed. And now we do have to have this conversation. I do have to tell you that we're related, but it isn't my place to tell you what you are or where you come from. That is someone else's place. And she's like, well, whose place is it? And she's like, well, our ancestors are going to have to be the ones that have to tell you that. And she's like, well, how do I talk to them? Because you just told me that you're the only or the only surviving relative. And she's like, that's true. I did tell you that. Um, but there is a way to communicate with them. Um, if you go over there and you sit at that table and you commune with our ancestors, they will speak to you and they'll explain the whole thing. And she's like, okay, I don't really understand any of this. And this is a whole lot to process. Like, I don't know if I'm going insane. First, I go a place that is magical, and I'm told that magic exists. I don't believe that. And then I find out I'm pregnant, and now things are flying out of my hands that I don't understand. I'm actually able to create spells. I'm actually able to, like, make things happen. And this, this doesn't make any sense. And now you're telling me I come from a long line of something that isn't human? Like, what are, what are we? You know what? How about we go outside and we duel this out, and if I win then you have to tell me everything. And she's like, fair enough, let's do it. So as you can see, they're gonna duel. She's gonna try to get some information and some knowledge out of Michaela. And Michaela's like, you have no idea what you're dealing with, none. I am stronger than you. I am older than you, but that's fine. We'll do it your way. Dear sweet Raven, have you not learned from the last duel you were in? And as you can see, she is much stronger than Raven. <laughs> oh, Raven, that's twice. Yesterday you got your butt handed to you, and today you got your butt handed to you, so whatever. They're going to go back inside, and she's going to say, Now, now that you can see that I can't be the one to help you, go over to the table and commune with our ancestors. They will tell you what you need to know. They have the answers that you seek. She's like, fine. Oh, 
Kalingo. Boya Galeng. Orime Basaka. Yermish. Harnar Bura. Yermish. Dilni of Parash. Oh. Lepidosh. Dorava. Arogabash Waxwing Orime Bissaka Arnarb So Raven has just communed with the spirits and she has found out a lot of information and I think that in all fairness it is a lot for her to take in. It is a lot for her to try to wrap her brain around spending your entire life thinking that you had no relatives, you were kind of bounced around from home to home because you had no family and you were basically an orphan. Really feel uh -huh. like no we don't want a duel right now i'm sorry i'm i'm right in the, the middle of something okay thanks so um to find out that <laughs> all of what you thought growing up is a lie and isn't true and that you are of a strong magical elfish um, bloodline and that your only surviving relative is immortal because of magic um, and has basically been your guardian watching you from afar your whole life but never speaking and never coming and showing herself like I can't even imagine how Raven feels about that but I think she is willing to at least like really get to know Michaela and she's hoping like they can finally be the family that she's always wanted. She has Akira, she has Ranwin, and now she has Michaela, And so she finally, she finally belongs. She finally fits in. That said, she also has a lot to learn because she has no idea what's going on, how, how this is going to affect her, if it's going to affect Bran. And she's just like, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and allowing me to find these answers. I I really want us to be close and be family like family's supposed to be. And I hope you're part of Brand's life. And just thank you so much for, for opening the door and at least being honest with me. So she's just going to go ahead and head on home and contemplate kind of what all she has just um, kind of found out. And... I think she has a decision to make as well in the sense of like, does she tell Akira that she's different? Does she tell Akira that, you know, all of this stuff is true or does she keep it secret? Because unfortunately her ancestors were killed because of how they were and who they were and people were scared of them. And if she tells Akira and Akira were to tell anyone else, it could be very dangerous for her and Bran. Okay, so we have arrived back at the house and I think she is just like, okay, I finally know. And you know what? I was right. I am going to tell Akira that I was right all along and I am related to Michaela and that we have a larger family now because we have her. And I don't know what I should do about the other stuff. Maybe I, maybe I should just keep that to myself for a while. So she isn't going to tell Akira about the fact that she is an elf. She is not going to tell Akira that magic is real and that she comes from a very, very strong bloodline. But she is going to tell him that she has found out that Michaela and her are related, that she is a very distant relative, um, but they are related. She clearly can't tell him that he, <laughs> that Michaela's hers, her great, 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 great aunt um, and is still alive because that obviously is going to tip off like Okay, something about you guys is weird, right? Chester. That's cute. Oh, there's another one. We'll name that one uh, Chester. Chester and Chester, the twin chickens. Or whatever. It's fine. So, um, yeah, there is a lot that she has to think about. A lot that she has to worry about because we don't know yet. What? Here we go again with this baby through the skull thing. Like, I don't even with you. Uh, she has to decide also, like, if she's going to let Bran in on this secret when Bran is older. Um, and she's going to have to watch out for the fact that Bran might be magical. And that is a lot of pressure because she had that glimmer stone all along and it would hum for her, but she didn't know what it meant. And it was just that the magic deep, deep within her 
was dormant, waiting basically to get to a place where it could activate. And what activated it was her running into Michaela. The magic in her understood and recognized the magic in Michaela, and that's what activated it. And all of these things started happening. And now it puts them all in a little bit of danger because... Michaela and her were never supposed to cross paths. She was supposed to guard her from afar. As you can see, Akira is home. The first thing he has done when he's gotten home, even though he is shattered from work, is come in here to love on Baran. And we're just gonna go ahead and give <clears throat> Raven her updated looks. I do want to change her hair up a little bit and I want to change a couple of her outfits. So I will go ahead and let you guys watch this updated process and then we'll jump back into the game. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night 
Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. I've been asking every question, cause I haven't got a clue. Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? nothing left Okay, so as you can see, we have gotten her in her updated looks. I am just going to go ahead and let her come down here, downstairs, and... She's like, okay, yeah, this is great. She's like, I don't even know how to start to begin to tell Akira what I need to tell him, but I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to tell him, like, hi, honey, like, how are you? And whatever like it'll be fine I'm gonna make us some tea and then we can sit down and we can have a chat so she's gonna do just that she's gonna head on over into the kitchen and she's going to make herself some tea or well I guess make them some tea and she just broke the teapot she's like are you serious okay you know what this is the perfect time for me to try some magic and let's see if I can repair this. I think I'm strong enough to do it. Daryl's calling again to duel. We're not dueling you right now. Like, honestly, we're not. We're just not. I already got my butt kicked once. Today I'm good. So she's going to come in here and she's going to try her magic and she's going to see if she can repair this teapot. 
And she's like, oh my God, that actually worked. This is amazing. Like, I cannot believe this is actually working. She's like, I I need to get some sleep. Like, I really, today has just been so much. And I, I'm just, I think she's excited. I think she's also maybe a little bit scared because she doesn't know how this is really, really going to affect her life. And, and now she has a daughter to look out for. So I think she is a little bit concerned by all of that. And as you can see, Akira's like, Okay, I'm shattered. I've had the longest work day of all time. I'm coming up and I'm going to bed with my just kidding, gonna go and help Bran. So he's gonna come deal with their daughter and then he'll go ahead and get himself into bed. And I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you are notified when a new episode goes live. And as always, I will see you guys in the next Birch Legacy episode. Bye, y'all.